Hey artists, today we're going to talk about Ramiro Brito, his art, and we're going to be inspired to create something in his style. You maybe have heard me talk about Ramiro Brito before. He's an artist who's still alive today, a modern artist from Brazil, and his art is so bold and playful and fun that I love looking at all of it. Here's Ramiro Brito. He does all kinds of different paintings, but today we're going to look at the subject matter of the words he creates. Very positive words. So I hope you love today's art assignment. And first, I'll tell you a little bit about Ramiro Brito. These are the works of Ramiro Brito. They're joyful, simple, and you may start to notice they're all over the place. But who is Ramiro Brito? And how did he become so prolific that he is the most licensed artist in history? Let's start with the basics. <laughs> Romero Brito is an artist, more specifically, a contemporary artist who blends pop art with Cubist-like abstraction. And the subject matter is that I do is very simple, very direct. You know, I'm very consistent with my colors. And then the lines, the stripes, the little things that I put in my work that is part of my vocabulary. He was born in Brazil to a big family and growing up was pretty tough. My mother had like 12 kids. I wanted to get out of the house because it was chaotic. And little did he know, art would become his ticket out. Since I was a kid, I always liked drawing, but I never knew that I would change my life. At age 25, he moved to Miami, where pop art was flourishing. I was like, you know what? I love America. I love Miami particularly because it's such a dynamic city. With no formal art training, he would paint on newspapers and on the streets, the only canvases he could afford. Before I show my work in galleries, I show my work on the sidewalk of Miami. He was able to move into a small studio, and from there, his career took off. Yes. Disney, Coca-Cola, Mattel, Samsung, luggage, lamps, watches, bananas. If you can slap a print on it, odds are there's a Brito version of it. His sculptures are in train stations, shopping plazas, hotels, corporate headquarters. The guy has done the Super Bowl, the World Cup, and the Olympics. So today, artists, I hope you're inspired by Romero Brito's positive, colorful, bold artworks. We're going to look at the words he creates. And we're going to create our own colorful word art, positive word art. Ramiro Brito once said, I hope when people see my art or my work, they have a big smile on their face and a huge one in their heart. Ramiro Brito's word art. For example, here is happy. Do you notice the colors are repeated in different letters? There are lines that run through and connect all the letters. And then there's big, bold, playful shapes in each letter, almost like a puzzle that fits together. Smile, hope, dream, live, love, laugh. So here's some students' artwork inspired by Romero Brito's positive words. Here's one I did. I love the word hope. So I used all kinds of art supplies to create this work of art. Let me show you how I did it. Okay, artists, I started with the word hope and I made huge pencil capital letters on my big paper. I'm using all kinds of art supplies to show you that whatever you have will work for this work of art. So I found a black Crayola marker, Sharpie, you could use colored pencil, crayon, any black outline would work. So take whatever word you want to use, happy, love, laugh, and you give it an outline. So you Pretend the pencil line is almost like a skeleton and you trace around the outside of the word. Dream, smile. Now I'm really not writing this fast, so don't write yours so fast. I just wanted to show you 
how you create bubble letters around the skeleton of capital letters written in pencil. I erased all my pencil line, and then now I'm going to create kind of a continuous line, almost like a puzzle going through my word, not the background. You can add other shapes, cut each letter into about three different slices or more. Now I'm using a crayon. If you have a Sharpie, you can use a Sharpie, black Crayola marker, colored pencil, all of Romero Brito's um, artwork has this bold black outlines. It makes everything pop and stand out. After you're done outlining all the letters, then design some simple shapes inside the pieces, almost like a puzzle. And then start to color inside. You can use only one art supply if you want, one medium, or you can mix them up if you have more of them. Remember to skip around. If you do yellow in one shape, in one letter, try to do yellow in another letter. Now don't color as fast as me, you might go out of the lines. I'm speeding up the video just so you have time to make your art with me today. I hope you're thinking of what word you can use in your positive word art. You can go ahead and start with a pencil to do the capital letters really big lightly in pencil and then give each letter an outline okay artists all you have to do now is pick out a word you happy dream laugh love smile hope good luck artists i can't wait to see what you create